Right, hello everyone. Uh, this is day two of Aero India, and I am with a very active uh, man of DRDO, DG ECS, Dr. Vikas Das. And for all those who have been closely following DRDO's uh, missile programs, he has been there at the launch pad at Balasur, right? Yeah, that's right. So he is the Balasur man, the missile man, and then he moved, came to Bangalore. Now he is heading the most critical electronic wing as the DG. We saw him at the Aero India seminar. Touch of Dr. Kalam in his speech. Very active, like a small kid. He doesn't sit at one place, running around. He leads a vibrant team of scientists under his cluster. Welcome, Dasa, to this very special edition. So all much. of you, all of these are your products. So let's not waste time. Straight away, let me ask you on on the radar front. What are these? What are these products? See, this time in our, we are showcasing the products together as a one-stop solutions to all our users. If you look at this particular one, this is about a Dornier's midlife upgrade with our Indian Navy wanted, and all the sensors like radar to ESMs to uh, electro optics and also the software defined radios as a bulk it was to be imported. The idea was taken this challenge, and exactly in the span of 24 months, right from design desk up to realizing the system, integrating it with the aircraft, and making it perform, and the target was to fly it in Aero India. We'll be very happy to know in the yesterday's blue sky it has pierced through. All the sensors are working fantastic, and the idea. Has set a record that in exact 24 months we could realize four major game-changing products for the Dornier midlife upgrade aircraft. So when you say the midlife upgrade uh, upgrade of Dornier, so what has this radar added? What are the new features it is added to this aircraft? So essentially, this is a surveillance aircraft. So all that you need to know is you have to have a long-range negotiation. You should be able to detect the enemy, detect the target much faster, and the time you have is to negotiate further. To that extent, this is an active electronic scan array type of a radar. It's an absolutely digital technology. Within which it is going to be under the belly, and it has a rotation of 360 degree. And with that, you can track, you can get the azimuth elevation range, you can get the synthetic aperture radar through which the imaging can come. You can get the Doppler, so you get hell a lot of information about what is approaching you. That's point number one. Having done that, these days a lot of radiations comes across from the radars on the ground, from the boards on the ground because it's a maritime surveillance. So we have got an electronic support measure called ESR. That's also an absolutely next generation technology designed by one of our labs, and you put it underneath, and it starts at the surveillance and detects every single radiations right from lowest of the frequency to the highest one with the full band. So that gives you the radiations RF measurements. Then comes to the electro-optics. Actually, if you see at that end, the, we have got that the, is from BEL. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, BEL is our industry partner. The entire design is again by another another laboratory of uh, DRDO. Right. And the beauty of that electro-optical payload is, these days what happens? Number of cameras are more, so payload size becomes bigger. But here the cameras are more, but the payload size is very small. Right, right. This is the first time in the world we have done this design. It is called common aperture optics. So entire design is done by DRDO and implemented by Bell. Right. So uh, uh, you know another very key area what people want to know is Uttam. Uh, that is on the other side. We'll go there. Yeah. And what else is there? What have See, you? See, there is another very important one here. Is called the. I'll come to that. But there is a software defined radio where from the Rafal we are getting all along. Today again one of our labs has designed and developed the software defined radio that is integrated here because all these data which comes on the maritime aircraft has to be relayed back to the dam. And that happens to the SDR. So first time countries airborne SDR with successful results have flown yesterday and given uh, fantastic sir, data. Okay. So I want to ask you. You know we have been hearing about this SDR for a long. Long time. Every Aero India BEL talks about SDRs, DRDO talks about. So, what exactly has it happened? Has it been matured into a product that can be now used by the users? Absolutely. Software defined radio is a concept by itself, and it has been designed and developed with Indian industry with the deal as the major lab. And as you know, India SDR has been a program in which our entire SDR fleet. Has already been accepted by naval forces and integrated. MH60 helicopter is already integrated and flying. In most of the ships, it is deployed as the SDR shipboard system. Apart from that, there is one more form factor called the land-borne SDR. That is for the Indian Army, the man pack. We'll be very happy to know. One year back, we completed successfully. Results have been par excellence compared to all its counterparts across the world. Nav uh, Army has accepted it. It is going for production. This one, which I'm talking about, is the air-borne fighter SDR. Fighter SDR integrating it to the LCA. We have flown for the VHF, L band. All the testings are going on, and yesterday we got the fantastic results. If that becomes successful, all the three factors of the SDR, India is the ready and the world leader 
and that is how India is going to make a IRS standard these days of the SDRs. Right. That all the SDRs will come under one platform. All right. So leaving aside Uttam, what we will do it separately. What else you want to talk about your domain, the new things that is happening on the radar front under See, the electronic cluster? Let me tell you. Looking at the mandate of the government, the very first thing which we are going is a transformational DRDO. And the transformational DRDO means DRDO should shift to working on the next generation technologies. Right. You should be very happy to know, in our cluster itself, if we talk about electronic asylum, we have released a complete technology compendium that next 20 years at various phases, which are the next generation technology the country needs. You talk about photonic systems, you talk about cognitive systems, you talk about quantum systems, we talk about the high precision electro optics, common aperture electro optics, high stabilization system, image processing, plethora of technology has been worked out and a beautiful roadmap has come up that how we are going to harvest this technology over the PDA. All right, so how much of AI, now everything is AI driven, right. so how much of AI has now come into the radar applications, uh, you know, into the current programs, future programs, because are we there or are we lagging behind? In fact, I must tell you, there was a period where AI was a luxury or a fascination. Today, AI is like an oxygen. Without that, we don't survive. All of our system has got an inbuilt AI capability, whether you talk about radar, whether you talk about layer tropics, EW systems, entire AI and cognitive is going inside as a core. And all the technology, all the systems which come up as a cognitive domain for the radar is built up very strongly. And in most of our product, AI has been an integral component today. Right, okay. So that's just interesting. We will take a break from here. We'll go to Uttam. That is what all of you guys want to know what's happening to Uttam. Lot to speak about. I have been holding about Uttam for some time for various reasons. Today, we will hear from the host's mouth where that project has reached. Very fascinating story coming up perhaps after this. Thank you. Jai Hind.